is up beautiful people welcome back to the channel i know we uh we do a lot of fishing on this channel but like i said in the past we do a lot of other cool stuff we decided our backyard we spent all this time landscaping the front of our house and making it look beautiful and working on the yard and it does it looks amazing all of this back here great backyard has been an absolute wreck and so we're ready to transition into the backyard but until we do that we love mini golf we're a family that loves mini golf we love to play different courses every time we travel go on vacation we find mini golf courses and we play on them and so before we completely redo our backyard we want to do something fun something to create a memory that my kids and our friends and family will remember when i'm dead i want my family and friends at my funeral gosh josh was so good at saving money and, and, and just made really smart decisions. They can either say that, or they can say, man, do you remember that one time dad, Josh, the Yarnels built a mini golf course in their backyard? That's what we're doing. We're building a mini golf course in our backyard before we tear it up next year and completely redo it. And so, granted, we picked the worst time to do it because we're building it out of wood and wood is ridiculously expensive. And so, anyway, that's what we're doing. It's all custom. We're getting to design the holes how we want them. I went on YouTube to look at how people do this, and the YouTube videos suck. Like, they're, they're terrible. Terrible designs, they're not built well, and they just are, like, videos look like they're shot on VHS cameras from, like, 1987. So, I wanted to put something out there for other people that are looking to maybe do the same thing. You don't have to do it at the level we're doing, but it's actually a lot easier than you think. So, I'm gonna take you back here and kind of show you a little bit of what we're doing. So this is where my new building for the boat is supposed to go and uh, of course like everything else they're like a week behind so it makes out for a great um, place to build and this is kind of what we've got going so far. We built, these are basically just walls like if you flip this guy over right here this is just two by four uh, stud wall like we built a frame around it. And then we did every 16, every 16 inches, we put a two by four in it to support it. And then we've got some OSB on the top and it's plenty of support. So when you stand on it, it doesn't flex. So it's a nice solid surface. We use a three inch PVC cap as our cup. And then from there, we painted all the sides with a black to help uh, weatherproof it. And like this one, this one's gonna be a, a Plinko style. You're gonna hit up around a, a barrier right here, and then it's gonna Plinko down the hill and hopefully into the cup. But anyway, we did a bunch of different ones. This was the first one we built as a prototype when we were learning how to do it. This is number one, we actually just finished it. You're actually gonna putt from down here. Whoop. And it's supposed to be relatively easy. But we're gonna do some fun stuff. We've got a fountain, a couple fountains. Um, but once we get the wall part built like this, then we come over here and I've got all these kids working. Oh, thanks for calling me a kid. <laughs> and they are installing all the green carpet. And then from there, we put the rails on it and we decorate it with like fun little mini golf style stuff. And that's it. So we're gonna have 
we're gonna complete 10 holes right here in this section so we can play tonight. And then over the course of the next week or so, we're gonna finish all the way down and then over on that side of the yard over there. Um, so a total of 18 holes. So that's kind of it. We've got this, uh, we've got this like cool, like this little sunroom area. There's like a little bar right here. And so, you know, it's, we want to provide a place for people to come and play for free. We don't have any mini golf here in Dodge city. And so for me, it's kind of expensive to do what we're doing. And it, you know, it's not like a regular backyard. People are like, why would you do that to your backyard? But for, for me and my wife, we want to do something for the community. We want to be able to like, invite maybe some pastors over here um, with their families or city leaders and just let them come and we'll we'll have snacks and drinks and stuff for them and then they can come out here and they can just play mini golf for free in our backyard and uh, enjoy an evening with their family and friends so um, we're going to string lights like all the way up across these trees so that you can see at night and then we're going to do some night golf with like glow sticks in the holes and glow in the dark balls and just some fun stuff like that so it should be pretty cool as we continue to uh move along i'll show you some more of the holes but that's kind of where we're at i mean it's coming together um we should be playing tonight for sure so anyway stay tuned i'll uh keep you updated as we finish a couple more holes So this hole, you'll hit from here. It'll go up this little ramp right here. Kind of hard to see in the shadow. This is a piece of marble that we just had laying around in the backyard. And then boom, it goes into the hole. But you have to at least get up the ramp. Otherwise you're gonna have an additional shot cause you can't go past here obviously. So we are just leveling this thing. So it will actually work the way it's supposed to work on this little marble spot. So. Pretty cool hole. Well guys, we uh, it's the next day and we got the first 10 holes done yesterday. We, uh, we played till like midnight last night. We had the music going, tiki torches. I'm sure my neighbors behind me were like, golly, it's a Thursday night. So I'm gonna have to invite them over to play sometime. That way uh, we don't really annoy them. So anyway, I just wanna show you the, the 10 holes we did. Cool thing about this is you're, you're literally limited by your imagination. And I guess being able to build it. So you can come up with whatever you want. We started out with some simple holes. And then as we went on, we made them a little bit more elaborate and on the back nine we've got some uh stuff like in the pipeline uh to do some really cool things so anyway sky's the limit you can use these holes for your own course or maybe this will just spark something in you um to to do something to at least get started and maybe you could tweak it to make it your own so anyway i'm gonna run through these holes real quick just so you have an idea of what we got going on number one you got these cool little, uh, we just bought like these little camper, little truck, straight shot. Hole number two, you come over here. It's got a brick that kicks off right here. And then the hole is down in this corner. So you got to work that angle. Hole number three, we've got a curve piece in the corner. There is some rough right here, which is nice to uh, make it a little more difficult. You can't really cut the corner to hit the hole. Number four, we had a piece of marble, like I said before, you gotta hit it up that little ramp. Ball rolls across the marble to the hole. If you miss the ramp, it stops here. You gotta hit back out and then go back up. So, uh, number five, this is the turtle hole. So, you basically start over here the safe route is around the tree that way or right here that bridge you can go straight across and it's not a hole in one every time but it definitely it's about 90 percent so if you hit across that bridge the opening is just a tiny bit 
bigger than an actual golf ball, which makes it tough. This is the windmill hole. This is the hole we built as a prototype. You tee off from here. Um, you can play, you can kick it off the corners there or try to cut across the rough, hit up in here. Um, anyway, it's kind of nice when there's a breeze, that thing spins and it lights up at night. Number seven is the water hole. And so right there, you can go underneath those rocks or play it safe and kick over and around that way. But there is, like we made a little space that goes right through there, straight to the hole. Cool little fountain, uh, it lights up. Nice little feature at night. Number eight, the big old ramp. So you got rough on either side, which dra dramatically slows the ball down. Or you can hit straight up this ramp. It drops off on the other side and boom number nine this is the plinko hole well, let's have another one let's have another one here it comes looking Stay good right there. looking good looking good ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars for davis and he has three more plinko chips oh it's davis uh you hit up the ramp over and then it boom 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 comes down and to the hole so this one's super random i don't i think we've had one hole in one on this one um obviously it's a little bit tougher so number 10 this is my favorite hole this is kind of a it's a elevated platform we made it twice as tall as the rest and then we got this sweet gutter right here you hit into the gutter the ball rolls through the gutter and comes out on the other side right there um even if you hit the gutter on the first try it's about a 90 percent hole in one it doesn't go in every single time so but you have to be able to hit this opening first right there the other thing that's cool last night we realized we need a little bit more lighting um We've got a tree guy coming and he's gonna clean up some of these trees, take out some of the dead stuff. This big tree right here is actually going away. But then eventually we're gonna have lights that will go all across this backyard and help light this thing. But like last night we threw in some accent lighting in here. We put some spotlights up like this is just sort of a temporary light here. But we're gonna work on some lighting uh, to really make it to really make it pop at night when you're playing. And then this space over here, this is where it'll continue. Um, number 11 will kind of work its way around. 12 will be up in there somewhere. And we wanna do a really long hole, I think, that comes all the way down. But we're gonna end up using uh, the other part of the yard there. We're gonna get a full 18 in here. So, um, but that's where we're at so far. We've had a blast building it but we've had even more fun being able to play on it. So yeah, that's it, guys. That's uh, something cool to do with your family, something different. I know it's like you tear up your backyard, but um, the mulch that we put down in between the holes, it basically, this was all dirt. And so that will help, you know, if it rains or something, we're not walking around in the mud. But mulch, actually, it breaks down into soil. So as time goes on, it'll continue to break down. And whenever we're ready to get rid of this, I will probably end up giving it to like a youth group um, if they want it to use it. And then we'll just take whatever mulch is left. We'll just basically rake it up, sweep it up and get rid of it. And we'll be ready to plant grass over the top. So, you know, a lot of people do like pavers and you can do concrete and all that. But at that point, it's like becomes a permanent thing. We didn't want this to be really permanent um, because we may play it through the fall of this year and be done with it. If it lasts and hangs on till next spring, great. But um, I just know we're not going to have it forever. So... Just something fun, something kind of unique that we can do in our own backyard since we don't have anything like this in town. Um, wood prices suck right now, so this was about five times what it would, would have cost us a year ago. Um, but still, it's like creating memories, you know. I mean, this is one big vacation, you know. You would spend this kind of money on one, one five or six day vacation 
we're gonna be able to use this for several months. So, and it doesn't only benefit us, but it benefits other people that we can invite over. So in my opinion, it's totally worth the money. So, but that's kind of up to you to decide. But anyway, there's no good homemade mini golf course videos out on YouTube from what I could tell. And so we wanted to kind of share what we did and hopefully you could take something away from it. Hopefully, you know, if you have questions, just throw them in the comments. We'll answer them as best we can. And uh, anyway, have fun with your own course and be on the lookout. I will, when we get the, the, the last eight holes done, I will post something up so you can see how we finish things off. So anyway, be blessed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up if you liked the video and we'll see you on the next adventure.